Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet and today is Vlogmas Day 5. So it must be December 5th. Um, I just have a short little video, I hope. <laughs> I hope it's a short little video. Um, and I will probably, I want to crochet while I'm doing it. I had not intended on really being able to do much crocheting today. Um, I was going to come home and from work, I get out of work at noon. And I was going to, the intention was to come home from work. What did I do here? Oh, there it is. Uh, I was going to come home from work and um, I wanted to finish wrapping the gifts that are, look at that hair, still, that hair from the other day, still. Um, anyway, I wanted to finish wrapping the gifts that are in the way of my, where my tris Christmas tree grows. And then, and I wanted to bake some cookies while I was doing that. So wrap the presents and bake cookies. I had very good intentions when I got up this morning at two. <laughs> when I came home from work, whole nother story. My back was killing me and I was tired. And so I decided I really need to take a shower, sit down on the, my comfy couch and crochet <laughs> uh, and relax and maybe take a nap. So, um, I am working on more scarves. These are going to be the greatest Christmas presents, I think, on the face of the planet. And so right now I am doing a gray scarf out of the Stitch Studio, which is, oh, let's not make it upside down, Stitch Studio Heritage, uh, Heartfelt Heritage by Nicole. Uh, and this is the color Pewter, and I hope that I have enough. Uh, I may not. Um, but as of right now, I can go buy more. So, uh, but I think it might work. And I had thought that I would give this one to my daughter-in-law, Amber, uh, to go with her hat that Maddie had me make for her. And Maddie had picked out that yarn and it was that Dazzle yarn. So, um, I did bring it down. So this is the hat and it's a messy bun hat. Uh, oops, that's the back, so I don't look at that part. It's a messy bun hat, and so it's pretty much, you know, just a rectangle, and then you put it on, and it's a little bit long for me, but you could do that if you wanted, and or you can tighten it up at the back. So this was the hat Maddie wanted me to make for her mom, and um, I didn't have any more yarn, so I thought, well, this silver could go with that, right? I mean... Um, and so that's what I had decided to do. And then as I was digging through some yarn, look, I found another skein. I bought this at a flea market. So anyway, I found another skein of this yarn and I thought that I would mix it with this, um, Red Heart Super Saver because this is only a four weight. And these are, scarves are made with a bulky. But then, uh, and I think I will have enough of that yarn to do this. Um, but then I realized I did Maddie a hat because this is a different yarn, but it's a four weight. And this is a yarn I got on clearance at um, Joann's. Um, and this is, the same messy bun hat pattern, which uh, for Kathy that's been asking, this messy bun hat pattern is a pattern, free pattern on the Lion Brand website. So if you go to Lion Brand and you type in, like there's a, I think a section where you can look for patterns or go to their menu or whatever. Uh, when you get to their pattern section, type in messy bun hat. It's a one page, really simple pattern. Um, and you just make a rectangle sew it there that's where i sewed it. sewed it you know just whip stitch it up the back and you've got this messy bun so i did that for maddie same pattern um she had picked out this yarn when we were she went shopping with me one day and um but with hers i made it more like for a ponytail she doesn't like to really wear ponytails or messy buns um but she's her hair is long enough that she can. So I crocheted uh, 
you know, a, just a chain. And you see how it's got these big holes, like, at the edge? Um, I just wove through those holes, you know, in, out, in, out. And then gathered it up, cinched it up. And then Maddie can wear her hat uh, with a little bow at the back. And, oops, <laughs> um, the pattern is a little big for my head, but uh, she can wear it with a bun, she can wear it with a bow, or she can wear it more tied together. Um, because she usually doesn't do that kind of, you know, the, the thing. So if she just pulls it tighter, tightens the bow, then it's a solid hat. Um, which would be better for her. So when I was making all these scarves, uh, I decided I had another skein of this yarn that I made Maddie's hat with. Um, and so I made her a scarf out of the rest of her yarn. And it's a four weight and the scarf turned out adorable. It's not as wide as like this yarn, but I mean, that's okay. She's only a little kid. It's close. It works. Um, like you can see, it's close to being as wide. So I made Maddie's out of this. My only concern is that there won't be enough of this, but I, I like, it's a small skein, but I still think, I think it'll be enough to make a scarf for Amber, who is also a short little woman like me. So you don't need an extremely long scarf when you're a short woman. Um... And I think Amber's maybe shorter than I am. So I think one skein of this will be enough. And it looks great in the four weight yarn. Now, Kathy, this, I will try to link this scarf to the back and uh, to the end of this video in the description box. Um, and if you don't know where, uh, you know, I've linked it before um, on a couple of videos. So if you don't know how to find the description box, I, you said you were new to YouTube. So if you don't know where to find it on the description box, or you don't know where the description box is, if you watch on your phone and you have full screen of my face, God knows why you'd want that. But if you have that, um, turn the phone the other direction so that this video is only at the top. And you'll see somewhere a little gray arrow. If you hit that arrow, it'll open the description box. In the description box, there's like a little blurb from me uh, and if you scroll through that, you'll find, um, and I don't know, probably my, my P.O. box address, my, um, Instagram, which I never go on account, my group, Facebook group page account, uh, which you can't click those links. I don't know why they don't click and go to where you need to go, but the link for this pattern will be under there. Uh, and it won't be under there right away because the video has to upload and then I have to get to my laptop to do it because I don't know how to do that on my phone, which is where I record the videos. Now, if you're watching from a, a laptop, don't, don't make the screen or, you know, any computer, don't make the video the whole screen and then scroll down below the video and you'll eventually get to the arrow or just get to the description box. I know sometimes... I don't remember because I don't usually watch videos on my laptop. So I don't know if you get the like recommended videos for you and then the comments and the description box, you get all that stuff in there. Um, somewhere in with all that stuff, there's either the description box comes up or you have to click something. I'm not, I, I, I'm not sure on the laptop, but one of those ways happens. And that's where you'll find it. Um, so eventually I will put the one and a half hour scarf link on this video. But the, go to the Lion Brand webpage or just take this, once you make a scarf out of this, um, which is really easy. It's a really simple pattern. It, uh, it's a simple, simple, simple. I mean, obviously, if you make a scarf in an hour and a half, um, because it's the bulky yarn, that helps. But you can do the same, like this pattern is very similar. If you like really look at the pattern, 
is very similar to this pattern. So just make this smaller or you can add to it to make it bigger if you wanted. Um, this yarn is real slippery. <laughs> My stuff keeps coming out. But So if you wanted to make this, uh, this would be a great messy bun hat size, you know, as far as the width goes. Or maybe you need to add stitches to it. I'm just going to wrap around so this is going to look really cute. This is probably going to be the video, the picture that goes as the, you know. But if you can see, if you wrap this around, you've got this holy part right here. So just make a short scarf. <laughs> and then just whip stitch it like I did with this hat. You know, just a whip stitch. And then you can make your own little hat. Um, or make it longer. Um, this, I think you chain 13 to start this and then you could do multiples of three plus one is what it is. So, um, if I wanted it to be a full hat, like Maddie's can be a full hat, um, and then just, you know, scrunch it all together, um, at the top, I would add another, like three or six, six stitches to the chain, um, so that it can become a full hat, you know, but measure it to your head or who's ever hat, the head that you're gonna do uh, the hat for. And I would just use this pattern because then you don't even have to go to the Lion Brand website and then you're gonna be tempted to buy yarn and I don't wanna enable, you know? Um, but anyway, bottom line is you can use this same pattern to make the messy bun hat, really simple. I just don't make it as long as the scarf <laughs> and whip stitch and there you go uh, that would be my suggestion and uh, if I was going to make another and I probably will make Chloe a hat because um, I made her a scarf and I will probably make her a hat and I'm definitely going to make Ariana a hat um, and their hats will be messy bun hats uh, well, I'm going to make them like Chloe's I mean like Maddie's so they can you know, have a full or not a full. Um, and, and I'm going to use this pattern to do that. And I'm going to do just like I just said. Uh, that way it completely matches and um, I don't have to find that pattern. I looked for it actually for this video so I could show it to you and I don't know where it is because I had printed it to make that the hats that I made there. Um, and I looked for it, and for some reason, it's not with my other patterns where it should be, so I stuck it someplace. <laughs> well, don't know where. And I could print it again. I mean, it's no big deal. It's a free pattern on the Lion Brand website. So just go to Lion Brand and print it, or modify the scarf and make your own. Real simple. Uh, so that's all I've got for today. I'm sorry the video ended up a little quick longer than I wanted, but I did want to give Kathy that information. Um... And that's what I got for you. If anybody ever has questions for me, you know, put them in the comments. I do read all the comments or uh, you can email me, which is probably the best way to get a, uh, well, I do read all the comments. So um, sometimes I do it half asleep. <laughs> I tend to be half asleep most of my life, I think. Uh, so anyway, you know, put comments in or email me at charmedgrammycrochet at gmail.com. I will be glad to answer your questions uh, via email or video or both. Um, so that's what I got for today. Have a very great day. It's getting to be dinner time for me. So I think my husband's getting up from his nap and he's going to make me dinner. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> he's a better cook than I am these days anyway. <laughs> okay, thanks. Have a great yarny day. See you tomorrow. Bye.